Okay guys, I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on Pro Tools and how we did what we did in the first week with the sound files and how to do a couple of the shortcuts as well. Um, so we'll start there and then we'll do another video later on with the um, uh, with effects and EQs and stuff. Okay, so we go to open Pro Tools here. Uh, it's already opened here. We're going to start a new file so you can go File, New Session or Apple N as you can see there. And we'll do that and again like I said this box comes up uh, standard would be this with 24 bit remember how we talked about how many zeros and ones that is and 48 kilohertz is the standard now you can click on this and make it 44.1 which would be what is for CDs but for audio for now you can do 48 point and then you can convert it down later we'll leave it 16 bit we want it to be a wave file you can also make it an AIFF, both of them are fine. Uh, the, just the standard is WAVE, but both are fine and can be converted and used within different uh, audio programs. So you just make sure, and we're creating a blank session up here. So you just click that, so that's all as it is. And just press OK. Now it'll come up with what you want to call this, so that we are going to call this the Trobe, sorry about that, the Trobe Pro Tools Session. Uh, and I'm just going to save it. I need to save it in the Trove. So you go to whatever folder you want to go to to save it in. I'm just trying to find where it is. The Trove Studios and the Trove Lectures. And we'll go from there and save it to that. Now it is opening up a um, Windows. So in here we've got the other window, this will be the mix window, and the one behind it will be the um, uh, edit window. So if you want to change between this window and the one behind it, remember it's command and then the plus sign takes you to the other window. So one is behind the other, command plus, command plus, just goes between the two. This is just a memory location thing which will add uh, markers if you want to go along. I'll get to that a bit later on. So right now we've got a session with nothing in it. Now we can create new tracks. Remember we said if you were recording um, you can create a new track. So you can do that by going up here, create new which is shift apple n. So I'm actually going to use the shift apple n, shift apple n and it brings up one mono audio track which is what you want if you were going to record something in. Um, remember I said most microphones are always mono. Uh, you can do a stereo one, but um, I would say you'll be using your portable stereo ones that are already set up. And you can just import that file later, which we will just show you a bit later on. So if you're going to record someone, this is what you would do. One mono audio track, create. And there we go. So this is the track in the edit window. And remember, we can go Apple Plus and see it in the mixer window. Now you can see here, that this is defaulted because I've got a different uh, system up so I'm going to make that output you go to the output analog 1 and 2 that's what you want okay um, yours will just say and 1 and 2 mine's done us a different system yours will just say this okay it doesn't matter as long as the outputs that and the input you'll put it in input 1 analog 1 because that's the first mic you'll be putting into your interface Okay, remember this was on your computer said bus one and two, so be careful that you don't, does, isn't on that because you won't hear anything. So if you were going to record something, you would then record enable, this is the record enable button. I'm now pressing Apple Plus to go back to the mix window, you can see it here. Now remember I said for file management, if we were going to record someone, you would, I would click on this where it says audio, double click and name it whatever you want like whoever was going to be recording so like I said let's make this mic one and that is what all the audio files will be named like first down here is some comments so you can say that it's Steve for example but that won't be on the files in the uh, session so you can press OK and therefore we're ready to go recording someone talking if we wanted to okay Okay, so now that we've got the uh, track set up, you can see that I've now inputted a microphone. I just plugged in a microphone into my inbox, and you can see it's peaking there a little bit, so I'm gonna bring down the uh, uh, 
red here, click on that and it brings it down and just check with your talking so you can see it going up and down and I'm just changing the level now till I get it right. This is in the mix window so like I said I could go Apple Plus and go back to the edit window and you can still see the same thing. So now this is if we wanted to record Steve, we've now got a good level, you want it in that sort of middle area uh, and then you just go up here to press the record, you must make sure that this is in record enable over here and then you go up here and press that record and it's still not recording it, it's just ready and then when you press this play button that's when it will uh, record, so if you want to record your interview or your people so if we go walla 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 walla, walla is a sort of a technique they use in the movies for background noise if they don't want to um, actually have any specific words, so walla 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 walla, you can see it's recording there now, walla 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 which I'm going to add to all the sound effects that we're going to have. Uh, you can see again that this waves are quite high up. It's not peaking because I can see here that it's not peaking. It is just this wave size, which I'll adjust in a minute, which we talked about uh, last lecture. Okay, that should be enough. We'll just stop there. So now you can see it's named mic one because I've named it mic one and it is take one, which is zero there. So now, like I said, this looks like it's really uh, stretched out or um, uh, sort of distorting but it's not so if I just go up to this little wave symbol here and bring this down and pressing this down button you, it just doesn't stretch it out as much and now you can see that it is fine uh, and not peaking or anything like that okay so now also I'm going to get rid of this for a second I'll get to that later now what I want to do is look at that a bit closer so remember what we had to check is we had to make sure that this a z was on yellow and it's because you click it and it could be in grey which means the shortcuts on your keyboard won't work if you press it, click it and make sure it's yellow they will work so now if I want to stretch that out it was T on your keyboard stretches it out and R brings it in T to stretch it out R to bring it in so I want to stretch it out a little bit and I want to see it now I can Another one you can use is while it's in that mode, if just while you've selected only that particular track, if you press E, oh, there's no other tracks there, so it won't matter, so don't worry about that. Uh, so now what we're going to do is I want to make, I want to see it a bit bigger, so you can go over to here, to this triangle, and go, I want it large, and therefore I can now see it, and if I now press T again, I can get right in there to edit, and back out again, as you can see there. So now remember what we've got now clicked is we've got this clicked on the smart tool which means all three things are selected. So that means that when I'm up at this top half of the file it's in that sort of selection uh, mode. If I come down here it's in grab mode so if I click it grabs the whole thing and we can move it backwards and forwards. So let's put it back to the start. And if we go to the end to the left side in this smart tool it you hold that down with that little bracket hold your mouse down it moves it in gets rid of as much as you want so you can bring that back and the same the other side if you do it this side you can see the bracket goes that way which means you can bring it in this way and edit and bring it back out again so always bring it back out to its full length it won't go past where it's stopped recording that's all it will do so now it's instead of going to go there so that's if the smart tool is selected if you click on that and get rid of it I'll have to get out of this mode I had to get rid of recording mode then so I could do this if I click that now, see it only goes to that wave tool, which is the selector tool, or you can just go to the grabber tool, or you can just go to the, you know, bringing this side in or bringing this side in. But that means you've got to keep going backwards and forwards all the time. So it's much better get into the habit of clicking up the top and get all three so that you get this. So there now we've recorded some tracks, but now let's, you know, we want to add some sound effects and things like that. So, um, so I'm just going to go and make this small again because we've dealt with that. So now we need to import some audio. So what we're going to do is go to File, Import. And you've got all this different stuff you can import for different reasons. So we want to import audio. So once again, have a look at the shortcut. It's Shift Apple I. So I'm going to do it that way. So Shift Apple I and it brings up Import Audio. And then you've got to go to where you want to bring in whatever audio you want. So I've got this folder I've set up, uh, Latrobe Tube Videos and the raw files. So this is the stuff we were working on the other day. So we, but I'm going to add a few more things. 
So we've got the um, music. I'm just going to use, you can just use the left and right if you want. Actually, no, I'll do that so you see you have to do both. Um, so uh, I've just created this. This is the Stereo La Freak music. This was the rain that we had. And this is going to be some dialogue that I um, brought in. And we will do another one another way in a second. So let's just leave it at that for now. So as you click on these, you see they end up in here. And you still have to add them. And that will add them over to here. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could click on one and play that one here. And it will start talking. It's just that there's no dialogue there at the moment. He's coming in, so maybe move it across. There you go, you can hear that. Uh, you can hear that now. It's in the call mode at the moment, so you can't hear that. Sorry about that. Anyway, you would hear it in your speakers. So there we go. So we use that. So we um, have done with that. We want all these selected. Uh, and so this is actually, we already hear it now because it's turned yeah, speakers. Right. Somehow I don't think See I'm that? The cool. All right, so now we're done with that. So we click on that. And that's good. And this is when it brings up this little, uh, you know, this little, um, oh, sorry about that. This little uh, clip list thing. You want it, The clip list means it would be in the regions file. And see how we can't see the regions file now? That's because we need to click on this little arrow down here to make that happen. Uh, but for now, we're going to put them all just in the clip list. So we'll go OK. So now we can't see anything. What happened then? Well, that's because we haven't got the region list window open. So all you got to do is click on this little arrow down here if it's not already there and you'll see it here. And now we're just going to drag it open a bit more and you can now see all of those things. Now it's only highlighted these because they're the ones we imported. This mic one is this one here that we'd already recorded. So we didn't want that one in there. Um, so that's why that's like that. Okay, so now you can select them all and drag them across. We need to create something to put them in. So we're going to create, this one is a mono one. You can see this one is a stereo one because of this little triangle. So that if we break that down, you can see it's got the Freak stereo left and right, which is the stereo file and it's not interleaved. So we need one, one stereo file, which is this one here with the triangle and then one, two, three mono ones. So the way we do that again is either file um, and then actually no track, sorry, track, file, uh, but there, new track, sorry, shift apple n. No, I haven't done it this way, I'm going to do it because I always use the shortcut. So again, I'm going to go shift apple n and it brings up, do you want one mono audio track? Well, we actually want three because of uh, the Shrek dialogue, uh, the medium rain and the Fiona dialogue. So we want three. So where this is, you go three mono audio tracks. Okay, but is that all we want? No, because we still want another stereo track for the music, for the freak music. So what you do is you click this little plus button here and that will create, it's created another line, but we want this to be one. And we want this to be stereo audio track because it is this. And you can have an audio track, or you can have an auxiliary input, or a master fader, or a MIDI track, or instrument track. You really just need to worry about probably audio track, possibly master fader, and auxiliary input. They're the three that you guys will be dealing with. Okay. So another shortcut here, just so you know, is if you want to uh, change this from stereo to mono without actually clicking on this, you can just go Apple or Command bar again, and then use your up and down arrows, up and down. Actually, you know, left and right. So your left arrow makes it mono, right arrow makes it stereo. Left arrow makes it mono, right one makes it stereo. What the up and down arrows make it an audio track. While I'm still holding down the Apple key, make audio track or auxiliary input, master fader. You know, so you can go up and down using the up and down ones to change that. Uh, and the left and right to change it from mono to stereo. So that's the other shortcut. So we've got those. So if we create them now, there we go. We've got all of them set up. Again, it's defaulted to going out my version of Analog 1 and 2, so make sure that says Analog 1 and 2 for you guys, not the bus 1 and 2 that it has been on your uh, Pro Tools sessions there. 
And with the inputs, you don't really need anything there if you want to, because we're not recording this. We've already got them over here. So you can actually just go, if you want, like here, no input for that one. See that there? Now, another way is you can do that. That was for one, then you could do it for that one, then you can do it for that one. But another shortcut is because these are all highlighted, let's unhighlight them. I'm just doing that. But if you want to, say, change all of these to no input at once, highlight that one. Uh, and I'm doing shift and holding down to the last one I wanted, or you could select all at once. And then what you do is on the first one that you haven't changed, you go to go shift, shift, option, and then press. So you go holding down shift and option, and then you go no input, and you can see that it changed all of them at once. So that was shift, option, and then click on what you want, and it works. The other thing you can do, as I'll show you, is another shortcut. It's the same thing, if you wanted to record something, um, and you want them to be in analog, you know, two, three, four, five on your desk in the studio there, you can do the same thing. So you've selected them all here, along here, and the thing. Then you go up, then you go shift, option, and command. But then you go to the very first one, and then it will do it in order. So if you want that to be analog two, and then the next one will be on three, and the next one will be four, you start with that one. And if you click that now with the shift, and it does them in order. This has only got four inputs, that's why it hasn't put them there, okay? Because this has only got four inputs. Uh, so there you go, but we don't want anything at all. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna go Shift, Option, up to this first one, and that will change all of them to no input. But now what we wanna do is drag in the different um, files. So what you can see here now, though, oh, I know why I didn't do it on this one as well, is because this one is a stereo one for our music. And these are all mono. You can see there's only got one uh, sort of column each, whereas these have got the two for the music. So that's why we couldn't do that. So now what we're going to do is let's bring in the stereo one first. This one here, if you click on the region file with the stereo and just drag it to the end, it will go on. It's on the stereo one because of these two columns. Okay. And you can see it's there now. I'm just going to bring this back a little bit. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm going R, just so it brings it in so I can see where the end of it is. And we can see that's all worked there, okay? And now the others are going to be like the Fiona dialogue. And let's do the Shrek dialogue first, because he's the main one. So we'll drag him, he's a mono one, so we'll put him up there. <clears throat> and then we've got Fiona, who's the other character that we, you know, maybe your other interviewer. So here we could have three interviews, but you've done these two interviews prior, and you did this one just now in the studio. So that's where you can bring them all in together, like that. Uh, and then we've got some sound effects. We've got the rain here, mono rain. So we're gonna bring that in there. So we've got our rain there. And then that's all that we've got so far. So we've got the interview we've just done, some uh, prior interviews, so Shrek and Fiona, what we did earlier, some rain for some effects of the story we wanna do, and some music for the effects of the story we wanna do. Okay, so again, for file management, we will just name these over here so that, that whatever we know what's going on. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna go on this first one, audio one. I'm gonna double click and call that Shrek. And then I'll just put down here, I press tab to go down to the, com to the comments bit here. And I'll just put Shrek um, dialogue. Okay, now what I could do is I could press okay and then go to the next one and double click do the same thing. But remember I said in the last lecture that while this is open, what you can do is press down Command and the right arrow and it will go to the very next one down here, Audio 2 it's gone to now. And then we know that's Fiona, so we'll put the, uh, Fiona and then Tab and then down here we'll put uh, Fiona, Fiona Dialog. Now again, we're going to the next one. So instead of just you press OK and it would and it would do that one, but it wouldn't do these two. We want to go to the next one. So again, Command Right Arrow. This is the rain. So I'm just going to write rain in there, and then tab down, and then write rain F X. So I know that, and then tab again, going to the stereo one. Now we know this is the music. So we'll just put music, music, and then tab down and put the freak. So I know what music it is. Um, and then you just press OK now because we've done them all. 
and you can see they're all named now and we all know exactly where we are particularly when we go back to the tab plus back to the mix one you can see them all here very clearly now what I need like to do another little hint for you guys is I like to keep the dialogue and the effects and the music at, at a quick glance you can change these colors so that it looks you can at a glance see what you're looking at so for example I want all the dialogue to be one color so if I select Fiona shift Shrek and mic one which is Steve uh, what I can do is go up to window and you'll see down here color palette click on that bring it across this set will automatically say clips and track you go on here make that to tracks okay and then you just click on a color because we've selected these three it'll only do these three so let's put them in purple and you can see here now they've gone this uh, pinky purple color and you can change the saturation so that they're really bright so you can really see the difference or only just a little bit it's up to you your preferences so I like about halfway so now we know that all the dialogue people are in pink okay and then we can go to the rain and we'll leave the rain in that blue but the music we want to change so we'll change that because that's a different thing again to the sound effects so let's make that uh, green there we are so if I click on that so now that's green so now you can very visually see the three different elements of your soundscape now just get rid of that uh, so what I'm going to do at this point is save um, that's obviously an important thing to do. Uh, so the next bit we will do, um, go back to the edit window, so command plus. And now we're just gonna trim up some of these. So I'll do that in the next video. We'll just trim up some of these uh, different bits and pieces.